They don't celebrate it because it's a holiday where you should be uh, that. Uh, <laughs> okay, <clears throat> yeah, here's one. Mark Twain. How do you tell a Republican from a Democratic Christmas? Oh. Uh, Republicans put money into the Salvation Army pot. The Democrats reach in and take it out because they think it's theirs. Oh, no, that's, that's Mark Twain and Will Rogers. You know that um, Will Rogers said, "I never saw a man I didn't like in, except for Christmas when Democrats were taking the money out of the donation plates." Because they felt the money belonged to them and they had more of a need for it than, mm -hmm. than the other people did. But um, um, if this, <clears throat> Democrats do not strongly believe in Christmas because it's a day, the um, day that you get, a day that you, it's it's, uh, uh, it's a day out of the year that you're not taking. Mm -hmm. And uh, look who gives the less to, to um, charities. The, the charities they're almost always Democrats. Who gives the most is the people. Is those 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 millionaires that can't afford? It. I mean, God, I, you know, actually, my father would have been a billionaire sometimes in his life. Ooh, you know, like, how do you become a billionaire? Uh, you may have you you uh, either make or or have a worth of a million dollars in inventory every year. Ooh. See, at one time, my father would have a track custom homes, folks. You know, like she knows, we, were, we, we built track custom homes. Actually, she's seen the homes that my father worked on in Sepulveda. Mm -hmm. this, we're talking both sides of the street in one area. My father basically built all of those homes. I worked on them. And those homes were selling for like $100,000, $200,000 back in the old days because they're on really good chunks of nice. Huge nice. homes, you know. And uh, we had, we, we basically were building all of them one time. We were in a boom period of homes at that time. And uh, he'd have been a billionaire for two or three years in his life. Ooh. Of course, you know, we were eating cold, we were eating cold hamburgers and drinking melted um, milkshakes. milkshakes and cold french fries. Our warm beans and hot dogs because the money, everything that my mother was making and my father was making as a police officer or a Canada Drive driver or, a, or an actor or stunt person was going into maintaining those homes because if the, you know, uh, what my father didn't realize is you can't sell them as fast as you can a twenty-five thousand dollar home. Yeah, they take longer to sell. They took longer mm -hmm. to sell, so that's why we were we were billionaires for a long time. <laughs> and just remember, the value kept going up, but you have to you're paying yeah. construction loans every month. And you month. have to pay on those bills. That's right, you have to pay on the bills, but um, so but uh, it's it's just you know I resent. And you know, a nation. I mean, I, you know, like the day uh, I actually had. Here's a good thing. I'm old enough that I had a rule in our house is on, on the Fourth of July, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, and Easter that there was n no politics and and nobody caused problems in the house on those holidays, and they all knew. You know, my family is basically equal divided between <laughs> Christians and not and Jews and and and. And, and uh, Democrats, Republicans. The Democrats almost always were Jews, mm -hmm. which is funny. Since they Jews wanted, mm -hmm. the Jews don't like the Hispanic habits of the Democrats. So why in the hell are they Democrats? But uh, anytime anybody would get into a political battle or get into a fight, I actually threw them out of the house. I took them and threw them out. I mean, I have been. People would find out how really big I am when I grab somebody by the neck and toss him through the front door of the house. And my mother, you know, they'd appeal to my mother, the, the Democratic, you know, uh, Episcopalian, you know, you know, your son can't get away with that. And they said, were you here eating the food that he cooked? They mm -hmm. said, yes. Do you know what the rules are in this house during the holidays? They said, yes. Well, then you're lucky he doesn't throw you out also. I didn't throw the women out, but I, I'd throw their husbands mm -hmm. or boyfriends out and then they'd leave with them, you know, and they would be, you know, really miffed. So I was, I was a heavenly force. I lost the biggest person in my family, too. <laughs> I'm a heck of a lot stronger than I used to when I look. But, um, uh, but it, it's just, it, it's just not the 4th of July. Anymore. And, and, but, you know, and you'll be seeing this probably today or tomorrow. But uh, we're going to be going to Venice Beach in a little while with taking our life into our own hands, going to the beach today.
I know, it sounds like it's crazy, but the reason why we're saying that is there's been a number of flash mobs. Yeah, uh, a little over a week ago we had a couple of people killed right where we're going. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> it's just not good, but um, uh, so, you know, we're, we're on the verge of losing the internet in this country. We're on the verge of basically seeing having to pay for over the air broadcasting. So, um, you know, our, and the country's broke. Our Congress doesn't understand it's broke. Republicans are just as bad. The Republicans are going to cave in on giving Obama his taxes to get a promise. Remember, they got a promise of a hundred billion dollars in cuts for the for the uh, for uh, his you know his giving in on this mm -hmm. and and you know to get the last budget thing passed that the Democrats still Democrats, we're talking it's 2011. They haven't done a budget since Obama became president. Oh really? No. They put no budget out since he became president, and because they can't figure out how to pay for things, they just want to blame it on the Republicans as being obstructionists. But um, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's not a great Fourth of July. You don't. We saw one fireworks stand, one. Where I didn't even see it. Um, it's all of a, it's down the street <coughs> from um, especially it's called Street from Costco over on was it. Uh, is that Hawthorne or something? Or? Well, you know, p part of it is fireworks are illegal. They're not there. Unfortunately. Um, although I did hear them last night. Yeah, no, uh, there are fireworks that are illegal and there are stuff that is not illegal. Mm -hmm. And the trick is, <clears throat> you can, you know, the sparklers aren't illegal. They never have been illegal. Um, you know, um, little little popper things, you know, the little things. Those are just torpedoes little... are not illegal. You can go buy you can go to buy torpedoes in front in party stores. There are things that are illegal. Anything that goes boom is totally illegal. Anything that shoots up in the air is basically always been illegal no matter where you have I mean, They were illegal when we were um, we would hold Fourth of July celebrations in Culver City and we had a, we had basically we lived on what they call a truck farm, which basically it was, a, it was a bunch of acres inside the city limits where we had animals and we had horses and we had, you know, a, a huge area for growing stuff and we would sell produce and stuff from there. And um, but what we would do because it's always been dry out here, we we'd put the sprinklers on. Actually, my father, you know, because the people in the fire department would come over because a lot of the fire department people are also in the movie <laughs> business. They come over with the tanker trucks and they water the property down. A day before we were going to do shooting. I mean, oh, that was good. You could sometimes in some spots sink up your ankles. And we'd sit there and we'd launch bottle rockets from one end of the property to the other end of the property. And um, and people would come over. We, you know, my, I had my father's military. My father came back with an awful lot of, of smoke bombs. <laughs> and we'd lay off smoke bombs. So, I mean, nobody ever complained because they, they knew what was going on. Actually, we'd play. Um, we'd we have them. We'd have the. We'd, we'd have bands over there too, and they'd be. Oh doing, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'd have stuff, and uh, lots of loud music going until wee hours in the morning. Lots. Let's put it this way: there was more than beer and hot dog being served at our Fourth of July celebration. <laughs> it was the only time of the year when people other than the family would come by. People would come by, and they dump fireworks in, in, in containers, <laughs> and all the people would go get. The fireworks out, there's like, but we, we have many, many adults doing Roman candle fights. You know, I mean, that's a, and they'd also be shooting, they, they get themselves, uh, you know, like, uh, assume, see, this is a bo this is a, you know, a, a contain, this is a, a bottle. They put their bottle rockets in there and they fire at one another. These are adults, people. They're also guys. They're big kids. Well, they're, they're, uh, they're back from World War II. They saw the real thing, so, you know, they had, like I said, Roman candle fights, fire rocket fights. I mean, I used to throw, and my brother, my brother and I throw firecrackers at one another. I mean, my father, oh. my father, because he was in that line of business, would take quarter sticks of dynamite and then throw them. Yeah, don't try and do this yourself. But well, no, we had a we had a pond on the property, and that was fun to sit there and throw the quarter sticks of dynamite in the pond. And then they, my, then they'd be nearly fishing that thing, not anymore. <laughs> we get that same thing every single Fourth of July. Are there any fish in that? My father would always with the same line, not anymore. It would never. It's basically it's a pond in the middle of a city. You know how cruddy polluted that thing is. I know. My mother wouldn't even let us go out. 
you know, we basically, we every so often we'd have to drain the pond, scoop all, I mean, there'd be like this much really bad stuff on the thing, and they, you know, we'd, we'd end up putting it over the compost heap because God knows what was in that water. Because we were on a, you know, what happened, the other, there was lots of open ground that time that people had their farms on. They over fertilized, it would always drain into the pond. Mm -hmm. So there was nothing that left in that thing. But you could go out in the boat and have a good time. So play. But mother say, did you let your sisters get in the water? And I as I, I swear, no. Of course not. And the little, and the dude. <laughs> they're like, they think it's funny. Don't tell her, don't tell her, don't tell her. Mm. And they'd come back and they'd be sort of, you let your sister. No, I didn't. They fell overboard, and I got them out in the nick of time. Uh -huh. Yeah, they'd always fell overboard. Every every time we'd go out, they fell. I wouldn't get in the water. I was smart enough to know about it. But it's funny how the only member of the family could swim, also. So, you know, but <clears throat> but um, we also have Fourth of July. We go to the beach and do Fourth of July stuff. Because I did surf and sand stuff in the night in the, you know, back in the fifties and the early sixties, and uh, we were doing something. Uh, <clears throat> we were shooting on the fourth, which we did a lot because that was a good time to get your crowd shots and not have to pay for it. So you go over there and you'd hold a a party at night. You know, beach party tonight. We're having a beach party tonight, and there would be lots of all of those people that are bitching about how small the girls' bikinis are today. We're out. Well, actually, sometimes even wore bikinis. There was a lot of girls that didn't wear bikinis at those parties. So, <clears throat> but um, we actually <clears throat> we didn't have um, fireworks celebrations though. This was before the Dodgers. Shows you how old they are. But they would be out uh, the, the, before Disneyland. You know, all of this stuff. They wouldn't be seen. You wouldn't have fireworks celebrations. But not the only fireworks were people firing their own fireworks off. In areas that they all know. Oh, this has been a, we're talking, um, I've been in the, <clears throat> here all my life and for as far back as I can remember, they've always posted, don't light fires in the summer in the, in the Los Angeles area. So everybody lights fires in the summer out here. They'd have, they did then, they did now. We didn't have, we didn't have the firefighting equipment in those days either. So I mean, when you're talking like Englewood has got like a, you know, a hundred homes and stuff and no indoor plumbing. Culver City has basically got the motion picture industry. I mean, I, I worked on Spartacus over at Universal. On the, the, the basically, when the they see, that hillside. Yeah, when they come running down the hillsides in Spartacus, you know, and they're trying to, they're fleeing from the, they're, they're fleeing from, um, you know, the, the Roman generals and they're, uh, you know, <laughs> That, 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 there's all homes and stuff there today. Mm -hmm. um, I, we, I, I worked in, you know, all over these places. I, I'm back from when, you know, uh, where we go to, we used to go to Aqua Dulce all the time until they got to the network, never minded. So there, never, there were no houses there, no power poles. I, I'm from an era when Sepulveda in Los Angeles was two lanes wide. Two lanes. Now it's four and they're trying to make it six. But um, those, those were different.